calling the first look here the one you'd expect. This is the way that many guys choose to wear a suit without a tie. In fact, if you Google suit without tie and look at the image results, literally the majority of them will look very similar to this outfit right here. Navy suit with a white shirt, for some reason, that's the go-to. A couple things I want to point out here that make this suit outfit work without a tie. First, the fabric. This suit is in a hopsack weave fabric. It's from the HSS Michael Andrews collection, as is the shirt. A hopsack weave has some texture to it, which helps give the suit more of a casual feel. This particular look would not work as well, in my opinion, with a more formal looking suit as a base. Let's talk about the shirt. If you're going to wear a suit without a tie and just do a button up shirt, I like to unbutton one extra button. It lends itself to the more casual feel and the more relaxed vibe that this kind of look projects. It just adds a little bit of a cool factor to it. A look like this is simple and it doesn't need much, just a couple more things to mention here. On my wrist, I went with the Rolex Explorer 2 to play up the overall sporty vibe. And then shoes, there are a variety of ways to approach this. I decided to go with the tassel loafer. These are by Johnston and Murphy. This look is the least casual of the five that I'll be showing you today, but it is one of my favorite ways to wear a suit without a tie. And that's, of course, by swapping the traditional shirt and tie with the turtleneck. I understand that it's not casual in the same way that the previous look is, but the turtleneck gives the suit a completely different feel. And this is something you can do with a suit that does have that more formal feel. A turtleneck transforms that suit, your business suit, into something more casually elegant and comfortably sophisticated. This suit here is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. It is in a beautiful VBC wool fabric. It's brown, one of my favorite colors. Two button, flat pockets, single pleat in the pants, two inch cuff, turtleneck, keeping it monochromatic here with the light tan, really nice contrast with the dark brown of the suit. The turtleneck is by Corneliani. One little bit of contrast here, the pocket square is by Xenia. On my wrist is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And then finishing this look off with a pair of double monk strap shoes by Paul Evans. Well, since the last look was more of a fall winter outfit, I decided to throw in something for spring and summer. For all you guys asking for warm weather looks, this one is for you. Like the first outfit, this one really hinges on the fabric of the suit as well. The suit is again from the HSS Michael Andrews collection in a fresco fabric. Fresco is wool. It's a textured open weave similar to hop sack in that way. Fresco is known for being very light and airy, which makes it great for spring and summer. And it's a really great alternative to linen because it doesn't hold wrinkles in quite the same way. All that is to say, it's a more casual fabric for a suit, which makes it easier to wear this suit without a tie and easier to do it in this particular way, which is with a t-shirt. If you're going to do this, I recommend a crew neck t-shirt. I've tried a V-neck before, just doesn't look quite right. And make sure that it's well fitted. Color, I chose black here for maximum contrast with the suit. Sunglasses are by Moscot, tinted gradient lenses giving it that kind of Miami or more Hollywood feel. Watch is my JLC Reverso. And then pulling in the color of the shirt are the black suede loafers by Belgian Shoes. Another classic approach here with this look, I say classic because it's your simple suit and button up shirt combination. This is the same hop sack suit from the first look. However, instead of the plain white button up, we're going with something a little bolder here. So this is the same general idea as the first look in terms of the garments, but the approach and the effect I'm going for is completely different. The first look was all about simplicity. With this one, I want to draw your attention to the shirt. The shirt itself is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Sign up link for the launch right up there in the corner. It's in a gingham pattern, super classic and brown, which I think is unique and a little unexpected. Having a bolder shirt kind of takes the emphasis away from the fact that you're not wearing a tie and refocuses your attention. Another good way to do this would be with a denim shirt or a chambray shirt, both playing to that more casual feel. Accessories here to point out, pocket square is by Drake's. My glasses are by Tom Ford. On the wrist, again, is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And anchoring this look are a pair of light brown shoes by Enzo Bonafe. Here's a look you're either going to love or hate for one of two reasons, or maybe both. First, wearing sneakers with a suit kind of divides people. Second, it's a double-breasted suit and I'm not wearing a tie or buttoning the jacket. This outfit is a more sporty riff. 
on the first look, albeit with a much more formal suit, double-breasted, as a starting point. Same concept though, we're keeping it as simple as possible. The suit here you've seen before if you've been around the channel for a while, it's by Ring Jacket. Shirt, same as the first look, HSS Michael Andrews collection in a white poplin, extra button unbuttoned. For looks like this, I don't like to wear a pocket square. I think it kind of takes away from the simplicity of the look in a way that it's this other element that draws your eye elsewhere. Simple leather plaque belt is by J. Crew. White leather sneakers are by Koyo. Check out more white sneakers outfits with the link right up there in the corner. And although this is a sporty look, I did go with a not so sporty watch. This is my Rolex Datejust. I like the contrast and I think it just works.